hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel I'm super excited to be back in front of the camera I am going to try and upload a few more videos I know I've been gone for a little while you know just been going through life but nothing serious I am good and before I chit chat today's video is I am transforming myself into an Instagram baddie because it's been a while and I haven't posted selfies in a while. <laughs> so today's video is about the power of makeup, okay? I know I look as scruffy, I know I'm looking crusty, but let's change that. <laughs> so I think the first step is that I need to fix my edges. So I find for me... I've gotten really blind lately guys so if you see something that don't make sense on my video just know girl can't see it <laughs> so I have a really really old toothbrush not gonna show you that it's not pretty and some eco styler gel I'm not a big fan of eco styler guys um, just not and by the way I forgot to fill up my spray bottle with water um, I think when you doing makeup you need water because yeah, it just makes sense so I'll be right back so I'm back and I've got a little spray bottle here with water I I'm gonna keep my glasses on for a while because I just I'm feeling really blind guys got a little mirror here and let me do my edges I know a lot of people do their edges after they're done with their makeup but yeah so my hair is really dry so I'm just putting water to sort of soften it up so that once I apply the Eco Styler Gel, um, it will apply smoothly and with a lot less problems. So, by the way, I'm not a big fan of this Eco Styler Gel, guys. I find it's a bit too oily and it's not very jelly like. My can too actually does a better job in my opinion so yeah basically just gonna brush the edges remove the glasses okay the gel is not struggling to hold after spraying a bit of water on the hair by myself and yeah I don't braid my edges because they break off if I braid them and yeah so this is the edges done I think they look a little more a little more neat now now the next step is to fix the eyes I think I'm going for soft but full glam I don't know if that makes any sense myself yes my channel is recently monetized please make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah, it's free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. So I start with my Essence Make Me Brow Gel. Most people that know me know that I use this. Okay, I've had this for so long. I need to get new makeup. I need to buy a new one. Watch the ads so I can buy more makeup, guys. <laughs> so this step is really just to brush my brows to make them look neat. And to put them in place okay this thing is really empty I am struggling to get any product out of here it's all dried up now I believe that my brow 
brows are now you know all done next step is I reach for my makeup brush set and I grab I usually like to use an angled brush but something has happened to my angled brush I'm not sure if you can see that it's gotten all <laughs> I forgot to pack it neatly away so mm, it got gotten all astray Then I grab some LA Girl Pro Concealer and I shape my brows. So I think I use, I prefer to use the concealer underneath my brows. I think it's more important to get um, the line underneath nice and sharp. And you have to take your time on this day. Again, this is the part where we need our water because we're gonna spray the little bitty blender, a little bit of water, and we're gonna blend underneath, bringing down the concealer to cover the eyelid because we're gonna put off on the, our eyeshadow. Put more on the eyelid. Okay, I think that looks good so far. I don't know about you, but I don't like doing makeup for hours. Nope, not me. <laughs> I'm going to start with the other eye now. My next step is to get my eyeshadow done. So I my go-to eyeshadow palette is the Essence Crystal Palette. Just a basic, 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 basic eye palette. And I'm going to... I don't like to do complicated things on my eyes. So this palette has one non-shiny palette. And that's the middle one. It's called Make It Happen. To anyone who has this, for anyone who has this palette. And then I'm just going to put that on top of my eye. At this point I'm done with both eyes and I was feeling in the mood to be funky so I grabbed this blue shimmery shade could reach for the stars right here and I'm gonna put that in the corners in the inner corners and right in the inner corner like right here now the eyes are done and I think that most of our work is done to be honest so now before I start with my foundation routine I like to um, conceal my chin area because my chin area is very like it's usually darker than the rest of my face it's not looking so bad lately but let me fix that so to fix that I use the orange corrector which is the also pro also pro concealer and with this stuff you want to use very little of it and I also go in with my insta fix and go Two in one primer and setting spray so I can use this before I put my foundation I can use it after the foundation and to prime myself I'd also use my Olay day cream which is also a two-in-one day cream and primer I'm ready to go in with my foundation and it is the Revlon Color Stay 
um, in caramel number 13 this is my go-to Revlon foundation I really really like this it for the biggest reason of that um, it doesn't oxidize so the color that you see when you put on is the color is gonna remain throughout the whole day and I think that it is great for women of color and it doesn't make you look ashy Make sure you shake it well before you use it. loving this so far Revlon color stay is the girl she thinks she is she is the girl she is the girl she thinks she is okay now I only use concealer to sort of hide my dark under eyes because we don't want dark under eyes we're going for glam we're going insta like that's really the only use I have for concealer. That's and that's what I understand conceal. So I don't really contour. Um, I don't know. I don't always do it. <laughs> so to conceal the dark under eyes is what I like to use concealer for, and the dark chin just to brighten it up and also just down the bridge okay this is highlighting I like to highlight I don't really understand what is concealing <laughs> so before I blend that out to make it easy I'll make sure that I put on my setting spray My makeup routine is almost done. I did say that I love me some highlighter. This is the Essence Go to Glow highlighter, and I broke it so it doesn't look pretty. I'm not gonna show it. And I'm just gonna make sure I put a little bit on my high on the cheekbones. Not a lot. Not going anyway. For my lips, I want to make sure my lips are not too moist because I'm putting a matte lipstick on. I'm gonna use the essence, draw the line lip liner, and make sure I draw the line. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we 
Professional Makeup Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. This is a maroonish, pinkish, reddish color. I really like it. My makeup was chilling in the sun, guys. This is bad. <laughs> I used to think lip liner was pointless but like it makes your lipstick pop out pop out <laughs> now I am cut fishing everyone that is the whole point this is literally my go to makeup look I think I feel like I do this look all the time but you know why not why not I'm feeling myself now now I am feeling myself I was gonna put on some eyelashes but I can't find my eyelash glue and I don't feel like looking for it I can't <sighs> so this is it Thank you so much for watching and if you have questions, let me know. I'm going to link all the products that I used in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And to finish our look, guys, we need to do this hair. <laughs> we need to do this hair. I'm just going to try to figure out how I'm going to do my hair. Mm -hmm. I think I am ready for the gram. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready for the gram. Something like this. Do you feel me? I did the braids myself, makeup on myself. I love you for watching, and I am feeling so happy. I feel like Saturdays, weekends are for self love, they are for making yourself look pretty. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope you are not skipping the ads. Watch another video. If you want more information about the Revlon Color Stay, I've actually reviewed the Revlon Color Stay, so I'm gonna link the review of this foundation on my on this video. So when I used the foundation, I'll link my review. This is a really really good foundation. I did the review like long ago, like a year ago. And yeah, before I waste time chit-chatting, I hope you enjoyed my makeup transformation. Mwah.